Imagine you lost your son, killed because of a poorly organized, politically motivated, and completely foolish plan. Then imagine you get to see the man who made that decision that killed your son. You're overcome with emotion, rage, grief, as anybody would, and ultimately disdain. You scream out at him because this is the first chance you've had to give him that message. What does he do? He has you arrested for it. Your son gave his life for the United States, and in return, the United States has you arrested for grieving. Well, my next guest doesn't have to imagine that. It happened to him. Year before I took off, his murder rates went up 30 percent. 30 percent they went up. The biggest increase in history. It was then. Well, joining me now is that gold star father, Steve Nakui, alongside Congressman Brian Mast, who invited him to the State of the Union. Uh, Congressman, uh, Steve, you know, I'll, I'll go to you first on this. Your son, obviously, as a service member myself, uh, you know, I appreciate his service more than anything. Um, you, this is the first time you really had to confront the president, was at the State of the Union, overcome with rage, uh, and he has you arrested for it. Yeah, that... that it seems to be the case. You know, if I could, Carl, I'd like to uh, give a lot um, of a, a thank you to a, a couple people. First of all, uh, you know, Brian Mast, um, Daryl Issa, Walt, and Mills. They're affectionately known as the four horsemen to us, Gold Star mm -hmm. parents, and they're all being led by um, uh, Chairman uh, Michael McCall. And I want to also give light to the fact that on the 19th of March, you know, the men that had actually done this withdrawal are going to be at Congress. And they're going to, you know, these congressmen are going to have an opportunity to examine them. And I need, you know, all Americans, whether you're Democrat or Republican, to watch those, to maybe come to the hearings and put pressure. Because they were under oath saying there was nothing wrong with the withdrawal and there was nothing they could have done. Well, wow. I mean, it's it's shocking, and, and you know, and Congressman Mast, I appreciate you bringing this to light and obviously inviting uh, Steve to this. But this is to me, a gold star parent has something wrong with the person who ultimately made the decision that ultimately killed his son, and I, I believe he gets a pass on that. You? No, look, you and I have been there on the field of battle, but I doubt either one of us could for a second, put ourselves into the place of losing one of our children. Parents aren't meant to bury their kids. And uh, it's it's even more different than what it is to lose a, a brother in arms. Um, and I would just say this about Steve to, to make an observation. And I'm sorry, I didn't hear exactly what you asked because the audio cut out. Um, but I would say this about Steve. I compare Steve and I compare Lieutenant Colonel Stu Scheller, mm. who was thrown into the brig for speaking out in the immediate moments after it and as the withdrawal was ongoing. And you compare the two of them and say there's been more people held accountable, throwed, thrown into jails for saying something to Joe Biden than he has literally held accountable for the all of the, the folks that were injured, the 13 killed, the people left behind, the loss of equipment, the everything between Steve and Stu Show. That's the most that you could even say has been held to account, and, mm -hmm. and, and they shouldn't have been held to account at all for this. Right, $80 billion worth of our equipment, some of which has ended up in some of the worst places in the world. But, Steve, to, to this point, you know, obviously my emotions would be running very hot, too. I can't imagine the position you were in. But, you know, what would you say if you got to sit across the table from uh, President Biden right now? Well, let me, let me be clear, you know, um, I don't hate Joe Biden, and I would love to sit next, you know, across the table to him, and I would like to know why, you know, he went to a zero, uh, zero uh, you know, a zero policy before he got everyone out. You know, I want to know why he didn't use Bagram Air Force Base as opposed to, you know, the Kabul airport. There's a lot of questions I want to know, and the thing is, is that he will never do this. You know, he doesn't have positive role models or positive reinforcement in his life. And I'm, I'm curious, why isn't Jill Biden saying, honey, you know, it's you've been three years, 13 men yeah. lost, men and women. Why don't you just say their names? He won't even say their names. No. He won't say Lincoln Riley's name unless 
someone just really confronts him. He's a reactionary president. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I don't want him, you know, he's my cross that I have to bear. So I need to love him and I need to forgive him, but he's just not doing the job that he's supposed to do. Sure. And I don't know what talking to him is going to do except sharing the gospel. But as far as him and his job, he's failed and I don't want anyone else to die because of it. Yeah, well, that's the thing, Congressman. I just got a couple of seconds left, but um, you know, the biggest takeaway from this is how do we prevent, uh, you know, an, another the loss of a, a Lance Corporal Kareem Nakui from from going forward? And, and when we have crappy, crappy policy on uh, on the foreign front with this president, how do we stop more Americans from losing their lives? Well, we know, unfortunately, there will be American casualties, but the difference between it being in vain and being with a purpose is a very important one. You can't seek to not have national security objectives, but reach political objectives. And that's the defining factor here. Joe Biden, as you well know, was trying to reach political objectives, mm -hmm. getting out of Afghanistan on 9-11 and doing things the way he did instead of trying to reach what was best for the United States of America and our national security. Yeah. Well, Congressman Brian Mast, I appreciate you bringing us the light. Steve Nakui, uh, your son, irreplaceable, and I, I'm so sorry for your loss, sir. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. All right. More in a second, folks. Hey, everyone. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe. I will be back on YouTube with more exclusive content, so stay tuned.